Good afternoon, good evening, good night. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Money Cure. I'm your host, Reverend Sean Robert Grant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy New Year to you. Our first podcast of the new year, man. Blessed to see a a new year, right? And another opportunity to grow, another opportunity to be greater than the last. And that is something that is truly wonderful in every sense. I am so thrilled to bring in this new year with you. Hope you had a wonderful holiday and uh, you had some time to really think back and reflect on a lot of the positive things that have unfolded in your life. Um, For sure, when I look at my life, I I really am grateful because there's so much growth and there's so much, um, there's so many wonderful things that came as a result of that growth. And I'm just happy to to just take another year and go at it, you know. Um, The reality is, is when you're always growing, there's never really a time that like, I guess I'll say New Year's doesn't really, resolutions and stuff don't really exist when you're always focused on growth. And my thing is, is for me, is to to make an attempt to grow mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, physically, every single day of my life. And so, you know, New Year's is kind of seems like another day, but it is kind of fun when you think about the hoopla surrounding it. So anyway, hope you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Reverend Sean Robert Grant here once again for you, getting to some business right away, guys. If there is any correspondence, any feedback, any type of uh, subjects or topics that you want to discuss here on the Money Cure podcast that you would like me to talk about, please feel free to write to us at shaung04 at gmail.com, seang04 at gmail.com, and we will, what we will do, what we will do, we will, (laughs) we will give you the opportunity uh, we will respond to you as quick as possible. Damn, I, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Jeez. But, um, yeah, we'll respond to it as soon as we can. And we will, we will facilitate that request as best as we possibly can. So thank you in advance for that. Um, what else we got happening here? Yeah. Any resources, if you need any resources, uh, that you want to really kind of dive into, um, as it relates to the concept of money, guys, please uh, don't hesitate to visit uplifterentertainment.com. And also we got medium.com slash Sean Grant, S-H-A-U-N-G-R-A-N-T. There is uh, a ton of articles, I would tell you, on money. It's probably hundreds as it relates to the concept of money as we teach it here on The Money Cure. So visit that when you get the opportunity. And then if, if uh, you'd like to support this uh, podcast and this ministry, because it is really a ministry at the end of the day, um, the Money Cure book, right? The Money Cure, Healing Your Relationship to Money and Discovering the True Path of Abundance to Abundance is available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback as well. It's a great book, short read, kind of one of those uh, new thought pamphlets that you can kind of carry around because it really gets to the in-depth um reasoning behind money and how to make it unfold in your life in the the most wonderful way possible. So with that being said, that's all the business I got for you today. (laughs) Thank you in advance. Um, I just, I I really want to just tell you how much I appreciate you joining me as we've had the resurgence of this podcast. And we got a lot of great stuff that we're, we're sharing and talking with are talking about, and um, it's really quite wonderful. So thank you for being a part of that, because without you, I mean, there is no podcast, right? <laughs> who 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 would listen to it if it wasn't for you? So anyhow, getting into today's message, and this is a, this is kind of groundbreaking material for us, because this podcast was always geared towards giving you an understanding in the truth as it relates to money, but not really, really ever really talking about money, except as an expression. And this kind of, this kind of touches on it, but still in the way that the money cure does and has done in the past. So let's get to it. Awakening the millionaire within. And so this, this, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, January 3rd, 2023, this is a movement, 
right? This is something that has been brewing within me for a long time. And it's something that's going to sprout a lot of different wisdom to be shared. That's going to help a lot of people to prosper in ways that they never really thought possible. And, and that's the most exciting thing about me. And guess what? It starts with this podcast. And um, it's really quite special because once again, I have been working on this for a long time. Um, you know, when I look at my own life and I think about all the money that I've made over the course of it all, it's well over a million dollars. It's actually probably a few million dollars when you think about it. Um, and I'm really happy to share how that has been possible because I can tell you from the awareness that I once had, I, there's no way I could have known the amount of money I was manifesting because this money was coming at sometimes at the worst parts of my life. So it wasn't like I was paying attention to what was unfolding about it. Right. But the reality is the reality is there has been so much. I've been blessed to manifest so much. And there's a reasoning behind that all. Right. And today we're going to talk about that reasoning. So let's get into it. Awakening the millionaire within. And so before we, we, we start anything, when, when people think millionaire, right, a lot of times all they can see is little pieces of paper and your account being at six figures. Right. But rarely do they think about what it takes to manifest that type of that type of money and what it takes on the inner life. Right. What it takes from the inside, um, from a consciousness perspective, to manifest that type of of money into your life. And here's the reality of it all. I'll be completely honest with you. It's never about the money. It's never, never, ever about the money. It's the desire. It's the mindset and it's the consciousness. And it's those things that matter because when you have those things, you know, the money is going to show up, right? You, 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 you smile, you laugh because you know, the money has to show up once the, the interest, the desire, the mindset and the consciousness are there. Right. And so every single person has a millionaire within them. As a matter of fact, every single person has a trillionaire within them. Why? Why isn't it a situation where we see more trillionaires or or any trillionaires at all? Well, because of the limitation of thought. Right. We often get to um, places in life where where even in society, we're limited in our thinking. So much so to the degree that we reach a certain point, we make a certain amount, and we think that, that that's it. But we got to understand, God in us, God as us, is the infinite substance, energy, and supply. So there's truly no limit to what we can experience, to what we can have as it relates to money. So that's why I felt like it was important intuitively. I felt like it was important to to, to bring this forward because... It it just, it in itself is going to awaken so much in so many individuals. And I just want to say that I'm just so thrilled and so happy about it and, and, and just so excited to know that this is a possibility for you. I want to tell you, no matter where you are monetarily today, you know, you could be in debt, you could be in foreclosure, you can be um, not making very much money at all, but there is a millionaire within yourself and that millionaire is aching to get out, aching to be released. Okay. And telling you from experience, right. Um, it's easy. It's an easy, it's more, it's easier than people would think, right? Because the reality is, is when you understand that all it is, is just an expression of infinite supply you begin to see that it's your divine birthright just as much as it's anybody else's. And I like to say your divine bounty and your divine trust because God is unlimited. God is us. God is infinite. God is whole. God is everything, right? Which means all of the, 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 the money, but the energy behind the money in the world belongs to us, right? Gets back to that scripture. I am my father or one, all that the father had is mine. So that's where you really have to start off with, right? And then, so for me, I'll just give you 
some insight. For me, money was always about what I could do for myself and for others to express more out of life. Okay. That's why I always had like a deep desire. I I wouldn't say deep. I would say a heart, a heart inspired, a heart centered desire for uh, an expansive amount of money in my life. And I had that even as a child. I think I know that's why I've been so fortunate to be able to make as much as I have, because as a, as a child, I really wanted to express more life and to include other people in that. Hence, I'm doing a podcast for relatively free, um, and I've done so many other things for free, but it's always been about getting more to express more, to help more individuals. And when I tell you that desire in itself I honestly feel has allowed me to be blessed to make well over a million dollars in my life. And I'm only 41 right now. So when I I really think about everything that I have received monetarily, it just blows my mind because I'm like, wow, when, at what point did I make this much? Like at what point was this a situation where I'm just like, whoa, like this is just, this is something else, but that's how it happens. Right. Especially when, you find a cause, you find a purpose that is near and dear to your heart that you're going to use for this money, right? Or the 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 money that comes from being, you're having the consciousness of a millionaire. But yeah, the first thing is you got to find out what your desire is, right? What interest do you have? And, and, and the reality is, is some people just want money. And guess what? At one point in time, I would be like, uh, well, you got to have a purpose if you want the money. But no, I understand the universe is completely neutral. God is completely neutral. We decide through vibration, through our our uh, our soul vibration. That means everything that we're carrying within ourselves, what we're going to manifest. And guess what? There are people that manifest millions of dollars without doing a god doggone thing, and it's a possibility. And it, and it's a possibility for anyone. God states that nothing is off limits, right? Jesus said, be it unto you as you believe, according to your faith, shall it be done. It doesn't say according to your faith, if you're a good person. It doesn't say believe unto you if you're a generous person. No, if you have it in your consciousness and you have the desire for it, the universe is going to bring it to you. Unless you have blocks against it, that's the only thing that's going to stop it up. So, you know, it doesn't even need to be a situation where you have to feel like you're working like an Elon Musk or a Bill Gates or or a, a Steve Jobs, where you basically just work yourself into the grave to to receive this type of money. No, it starts in consciousness. And the, the easiest thing to do is to get the consciousness, is to get the mindset, right? The mindset that is predicated from the desire of knowing that, okay, I am choosing, not I want, I am choosing, I am, I believe that I am a millionaire within myself and everything starts within because as within, so without, as in thought, so in manifestation. And just like you would a garden, you cultivate that seed until it continues to grow. You allow yourself to be completely and utterly on point with it. And you know, what you're going to find is your actions will begin to predicate upon that state of mind, that state of being right. And, 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 the most epic part of this all, I would say, has to be when we are finding ourselves in a space where we feel wealthier, right? Where we feel like a millionaire. What is feeling like a millionaire? I'm going to tell you right off the bat. Freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Most people want to be a millionaire. Why? Because the freedom it brings, the freedom it gives to them to allow them to live their lives in a way that they choose to. I'm going to tell you straight up, one of the greatest forms of riches and wealth that I have had, and I've had it for a long time here now, is that I have the freedom to live my life however I choose, one day at a time. Most of you who know me, you know that I'm an actor, a performer. I write, I do different things, but guess what? I choose to do those things. On other days, if I want to travel, I travel. If I want to do whatever it is I want to do, I choose to do that, and all my needs are met and I'm not slaving at a job or or at some place where I don't feel aligned with. That has been the greatest aspect of riches and wealth that I feel like I could have ever imagined. In addition, 
to the amount of money that I've made over the course of my life. Um, and, 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 and I, let me clarify something here. The reason I talk about the money it, in no way, shape or form is that important in no way, shape or form is the money that I've made in my life important. But I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes when you start making titles about awakening the millionaire within people want to, want to know, okay, well, have you done it? Right. And that's because the consciousness of those individuals is not really ready to, to accept the fact that, you know, being a millionaire is, is a relatively easy thing when you're really committed to developing your consciousness, to be able to facilitate something like that in reality. But that's the only reason why I say, you know, the money that I've made to just to let you know that I know what it's like to make well over a million dollars because I've done it and I've done it inadvertently just basically by living my life. And, and so it's really, uh, it's really an amazing thing. And I'm really happy and grateful for it um, to be able to share this with you. But I'm telling you, money is like the last part of this all. It's not even, it's not even like the priority. When you do all the other stuff, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When you do all the other stuff, you're going to find that the money is kind of like the icing on the cake. Right. You've done the, the the mindset work. You've done the consciousness work. You've had the, the the interest and then the desire and you've watched it develop. And then it manifests as money or manifests as like this nice house or this nice car. And then you say, well, wow, that's really good. But I really enjoyed the journey. I really enjoyed the process. Right. And that's all it comes down to. And so the very first thing you got to do, get it within you. Right. Get it inside of you. Know that it's possible. Know that it is your divine bounty, your divine trust, your divine birthright. And it is always going to be there and the universe will help you if you can offer the authentic, right? The authenticated, pure energy of knowing that this is what you want, right? And and I would even recommend maybe not even starting with, you know, a number of idea or of, of, of money that you want to manifest because sometimes you can get caught up in just thinking that it's all about the money. No. It's about the evolution of yourself and the growth of your soul, right? As the soul grows, what's going to happen? As your soul prospers, you're going to be prospered in health. You're going to be prospered in every other thing in the material world. And that's a given. That's why it's so important to dive within ourselves first and foremost, develop that consciousness that helps us. And it's going to trickulate into um, the rest of life, albeit financially, mentally, emotionally, in our relationships. And we'll discover that we're living a rich, rich, plentiful, um, abundant existence in that regard. And so it's one of the most exciting things to see and most compelling things. And so um, another thing I'll tell you here, being a millionaire, awakening the millionaire within is also just not about chasing money, right? Right. Like I love money and I love money more so than anything else, but I had to understand how it worked. And I tell you, like it, it, it makes life so much easier having as much money as you desire, but you got to understand it. Right. And if you don't understand it, the problem is you can, you can abrupt, you can interrupt the flow of the money that wants to come into your life. And so people do that by going straight for the money. Right. So you see, Oh, Reverend Sean has a program. Awaken the millionaire within. Okay, how do we get the money? No, (laughs) you gotta you gotta start with the mindset, right? You gotta start with the mindset first. You gotta start with building the consciousness, right? Because the consciousness is gonna express itself as the reality. And so, as the consciousness expresses itself as the reality, that is when, okay, that is when things are gonna open themselves up and then allow you to manifest the money down the road but it has to be in thought first. It has to be in feeling. And the reality is get a passion for it, right? Build a desire for it. And, and, and if you don't have a desire for money, have a, have a desire or passion for something else that can bring you money. Cause I kind of promise you there too, that's going to lead you to awaken the millionaire within. Also, you only have to focus on what's within yourself. Okay, when you focus on what's within yourself and I'm talking like once again, this is this is God as you the the God that 
is ever present, all powerful, does not have any trace of lack or limitation, only has infinite supply, substance and abundance and wholeness and allness. That's where you got to look in because that is going to be the catalyst. Sorry, I just popped the mic. That is going to be the catalyst that enables you to power yourself into a position where things begin to manifest that correlate and reflect the consciousness that you have within, right? So basically, if I had to give you a first step, because once again, I said this is a series, right? I talked about that earlier. If I had to give you the first step, the first step is just understanding the desire, understanding the true desire. And the true desire is, what would I do with a million dollars? What would I do with the money I have? Right. Take away paying bills and all that other crap like, yeah, that that I can't say it's crap because it it does give us an opportunity to live. But outside of paying your bills, what would you do with the money? Right. Is it travel? Right. Is it is it build things for other people? Is it start charities? Is it is it donate to causes that mean a lot to you that spiritually educate you? What would you do right now? I'm not telling you that you have to figure this out because once again, you could walk out off this podcast, go to the store, buy a lottery ticket and win like $500 million. Like, you know, that can happen. I understand all things are possible in this universe. Right. But what I am saying is that when you have a strong enough desire, the thing is when you come against challenges, nothing is ever compromised. You just keep going and you keep knowing and you keep being aware that, okay, this is my goal. I'm going to see it. Nothing is going to stop me. And I'm going to continue to roll on as much as I possibly can. And that's what counts. So before we wrap this up, remember, what is the desire for the money, right? Or, or, or what is the desire to be the millionaire? What would make me feel like, what would I do if I had a million dollars? It's basically the easiest question ever. What would I do with a million dollars right now? And guess what? Write it down, right? Write it down until unless it is something that is so imprinted on your heart that you know it by heart and you can just kind of think about it and feel into it. Because the more you feel into something, the more it's going to manifest into your life and into your reality. So you want to be sure you want to be completely sure um, what the motivation is, what's your why behind awakening your inner millionaire. When you get that. You're going to be, uh, I mean, a really, really far uh, way long um, on this journey because that's the main thing. Everything in life that ever comes about starts with a thought, starts with an interest, starts with a desire, turns into a mindset, and then turns into a consciousness. And when you can follow those path, that path of those concepts right there, you're rolling you're rolling. You've already awakened it within and you're going to see how it unfolds in your life. Guys, with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, if you have any feedback, um, any correspondence, any comments, things that you would like to talk about, SeanG04 at gmail.com, free resources, uplifterentertainment.com. There's a money cure section and visit any other section you want there, please, by all means, uh, have at it. (laughs) And then um, medium.com slash Sean Grant, S-H-A-U-N-G-R-A-N-T. And then last but not least, if you love this podcast and you appreciate what we do here and you've learned a lot, I encourage you to pick up the Money Cure book. Uh, The Money Cure, Healing Your Relationship to Money and Discovering the True Path to Abundance, okay? And once you pick that book up, you can get it in uh, Kindle or paperback on Amazon, Please, by all means, leave a review because it definitely helps. And uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. We will talk soon. Happy New Year. 2023 is going to be a great year. Let's effing go.